here is the inside of the unit. I just had the whole unit apart to deoxid the controls. Had this whole assembly apart to clean all of this and deoxid. And uh, clean behind the VFD display, which is very foggy. That's fixed. And here's the speaker, five by seven. Overall, a very solid built machine. Now at the point I'm taking things a step further, I had to take um, the front off so I could clean the lenses here because they're a bit foggy as you can see. The Novus. There's the speaker. So it's gonna be really clean when I'm done. This is the 1983 GE Fidelity One high performance clock radio. I first learned of this clock radio from a video VUS Life did way back on uh, back in 2010, and I've always wanted one, but I never bothered to go hitting the bay to get one until now. None showed up in the thrift store or anything. That's where we usually get a lot of our stuff. This one is in fantastic condition and includes the original uh, sticker that would normally be peeled off when you first get it. Naturally, I'm leaving it in place. So, for starters, let me pull this little Ford. The GE Fidelity One model 7-4691. Mine has a manuf uh, manufacturer date of 1983. I know VUS Life's was from 1981, so they ran this for a few years. Uh, high performance FM AM electronic digital clock radio for bedroom, family room, any room. Uh, it's true. And I know it says 500 milliwatt RMS audio output to a five by seven oval speaker. That's a point I'm going to make up. This is conservatively and correctly rated 500 milliwatts. People today, they, they rate everything so incorrectly today. And even on RMS values, I don't know where they're getting some of this stuff at. When um, this, th this thing is plenty loud, trust me. Uh, I'd have to figure out how they rated this. But anyways... That brings me up to another point. I'm gonna go off on a tangent real quick. Uh, I do watch Tecmo. On Tecmo's video for the JVC RC M90, the quote unquote king of the boom boxes, there's one thing that is very, he's failing to mention about this, okay? The popularity I used on album covers of LL Cool J and the Beastie Boys helped it helped the popularity, but that's not why it's king of the boom boxes, okay? There's a reason why those older boom boxes took 15 volts or 10 D batteries. They could produce, they have the power to produce it. And the thing he failed to mention and that no one else is picking up on is that's 20 watts RMS per channel. All right. That's why it's king of the boom boxes. It's a very, it's one of the, it is the most powerful boom box they made even to this day. But yet these piece of crap, China pride, modern boom boxes or modern anything say like they have 16 watts rms total or something i'm thinking how they're hardly even loud and no one's picking up that or questioning why is the older boom boxes or anything so much louder when it hasn't have as much power you know listed on you know that's why you know it's all marketing bullshit okay you know this is correctly rated all right. 
The only other thing I will add to that is if this was rated like it was, like it would be today, this thing would probably say 10 watts or 15 watts output. And the thing I'll also bring up is how on some of these modern equipment, the wattage rating of the power uh, output of the speaker is greater than the input power from the wall or battery source or whatever you're using. It's impossible. And no one seems to look at that. Rant over. Okay. Separate bass and treble controls. Excellent reception. From what I've read and looking around, I believe this uses almost the same thing as a super radio. And yes, it is a very good tuner in here. Quality clock radio features. Blue fluorescent time display. Wake to music or wake to music with delayed alarm and one touch time alarm set system. Hideaway controls and we bring good things to life. Play the songs that make me happy. Here you have the snooze, S-N-O-O-Z, and on, off music and music with alarm. Your time controls are hidden behind the store so you don't accidentally change them. You have reverse and forward, fast and slow. You have the, the switch right there is what the display shows and what you're currently changing. Uh, if you put it on wake at your wake time, I, I'm kind of working a second shift right now. That's why it's like that. It. This is normal time, of course. And when you put on sleep, it starts off on zero. And let me turn the volume down. I just want to show something real interesting right here. When you set the sleep timer, if you press up, it turns the radio on. But if you notice, it does not turn on the dial lamp. Yes, this has a dial lamp. So you go here, um, you turn see it's on. You tell a little lie. And even while it's like this, if you put it in time mode, it'll still remain in sleep. The way you turn off the sleep timer on this is you go down to zero. And as you can hear, it turned off. Put it back on time. And that's how all the functions in there work. The well, funny thing is, it's actually been like over a month since the last clip was filmed. Um, I don't know. Anyways. Showed the sleep timer last time. So now, let's just get into the radio. Um, there's only one flaw. And that is the physical uh, exterior p uh, piece for the band select switch is missing. Switch is still there. AM, FM, and FM, AFC. I have it set to FM, AFC. Uh, that's no big deal. It's just odd that that piece would be gone. But I don't listen to AM, nor can I receive AM in this house and that's the other thing uh, I actually have it connected to the house um, antenna system which is a Yagi and it does everything from FM up to UHF uh, the internal antenna is disconnected so we're just going to be demonstrating FM Playback and reception. <laughs> I, I am 31. Right now it's snow showers. I, no, it's not. It's not snowing on the weather wall, but according to the forecast, it should be. I'm not going to argue. Right now it's 27. This is a 
rather weak station, but I can pick it up with the antenna, and, you know, the Yagi antenna. Uh, it's one of my favorite stations. They play real select, good selection on Sundays. They do um, the cruising through the 60s from noon to 6, and then uh, the 50s from 6 till midnight. Uh, depends on the day. Some days it comes in really clear, but uh, today is not so good. A little staticky. Let's just start at the beginning of the scale. All right, turn it up and let's go. Mozart's Paradis Concerto, written and named for a young blind virtuoso, Maria Theresia von Paradis. Andrew Manzi led the Los Angeles. She says her parents were divorced five years ago. Who you yet I'm Bob Studebaker. I thank you for listening. I host the music until 10. And at that point, I was... Smart. Terms and conditions apply. New low payments with just $995 down. Like the new AM's award winning service for yourself by calling 877. -8 Really weird interference wise, right here. That's what that is. Experience at the new live casino. Check out Celebrity. The weekend when you need it. I just love your music. I wish you could play it every day of the week. Here's more on 101.5 Word FM. W O R D. I don't even know where that's at. That's just weird now, it's like completely silent <laughs> right here. Six, six. Get a good sleep at night. Use as directed. Here's some skin information we know you'll love. Ulta Beauty's Love Your Skin event is happening right now. So give your skincare routine the TLC it deserves. Now's the perfect time to discover and try products from Clinique, Thermologica, And this is up maybe four out of ten. It's blasting. Yeah, 500 milliwatts in the eight ohms. From the employee-owned Thermo Twin Windows and Sunroom Studios, this is Wish 99.7. Yeah, now I got it up as loud as it'll go um, before distortion. That thing is loud. This is what happened back then. Things were rated correctly. If this was today, they'd probably say it's like a 10 watt uh, speaker, you know, 10 watt sound or some unrealistic number. No. And people fall for it. It's marketing. They just don't get it. I love this. Yeah, I didn't make the bed today. Forgive me. That neon lamp lighted dial, dial scale is a nice touch. Let's 
so yes an excellent performer and it is now my main alarm clock and is my favorite and i'm glad i finally got one so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hit like and subscribe